is muscle and money power dominating the goa elections in 2017 all six candidates who had rupees 10 crore plus assets and serious crimes were re-elected in 2022 there are 20 such candidates in the free candidates with high assets 10 crores plus along with declared serious crimes please please appreciate this these are the candidates and there are about 20 these 20 candidates have assets were I even mean, they have declared 10 crores plus some could be 90 crores and 50 crores so 10 crores plus uh, we thought you know we should take that and then serious crime there are 20 now why i have prepared this specifically for goa is in 2017 please 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 uh, you know uh, listen to me what i'm saying in 2017 we had on these six candidates We had 10 crores plus and serious criminal cases on them. What did Gomans do? Gomans voted all six of them, and they became MLAs. Six out of six. This time around, we have 20. So the question which through you the voters should ask themselves is whether money power and muscle power when it is combined. Whether it is a perfect recipe for winning the election, whether it winnability factor comes through this is the thing which people have to look at. In 2007, candidates with criminal record were just 2%, a red alert constituency in one in which more than three candidates have criminal cases. Red alert constituencies have gone up by 400%. Asul Dekar said. Last time around in 2017, Goa had. 8% candidates who had had serious crimes on their head this time around we have 18% so if you want to compare 2007 2012 2017 and 2022 now 2007 we had 2% people as candidates who had serious crimes from 2% went to 4% double in 2012 from 4% it went to 8% again double In 2017, and now we have more than double, from 8% to straight away 18%. Perhaps we have to look at it seriously. The, the voters uh, should look at it. Without uh, these are the criteria for serious criminal cases. You can have a look at it. Now, since uh, there are uh, something called red alert constituencies. Out of 40, Goa has 12, which is one of the highest numbers in the whole country. Now, what is this red alert constituency? Let me clarify. Any constituency which has more than three people having criminal record, three candidates with criminal record, is defined as red alert constituency, which means. Devendra Gaukar for Herald TV.